with Puff Daddy and Biggie. Biggie was born on May 21st, 1972, and Puffy was born November 4th, 1969. And notice their birthdays came. Biggie was um Biggie Biggie was born 929 days after Puff Daddy, and 929 is the 158th prime number, and Freemasonry is 158, which just goes to show you that you know I don't know how they do it really I don't I don't know how they do it but these rappers were chosen from birth. That's what it looks like, and I don't know how I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know how they do it because this stuff is so perfect every time. It's really magical how how it all works out. Really, it's magical. But you guys notice how Freemasonry is one thirty nine and one hundred and fifty eight. Notice Tupac Shakur. One thirty nine and one fifty eight. Tupac Shakur is also sixty eight. Like how Biggie Smalls ended up dying on the sixty eighth day of the year, which is today. And notice this, right? The name Christopher, which is Biggie Smalls' first name. It's also 139 and 158. Now, the the album Ready to Die came out on 13 slash 9. Tupac ended up dying on, on the two-year anniversary of that album being released. Now, Christopher is also 158. And again, him and Puff Daddy were born 929 days apart from each other. And that's the 158th prime number. It's just unbelievable how the, the, they are able to do all this. Because how, how did they know Biggie Smalls was going to have this this talent, I mean, it's, a lot of this stuff is still mind blowing to me. Even though I'm, I've been doing this for a while now. It's just unbelievable how they they're able to just plan all this stuff way in advance. But um, yeah. So notice how Biggie, Pop, um, Biggie and Puff Daddy, they were linked through the numbers, right? Biggie was even born on the 309th day of the year, and then, I mean, Tupac was well, no, not Tupac, P Diddy. Born on the 309th day of the year, and then Biggie ends up dying on 309. Crazy, man. Just crazy stuff. But yeah, so 177. Their deaths, Biggie, Pac, Biggie and Pox, 177 days apart. Now, look. This image came out the day that um Biggie was killed, right? So supposedly he took this, he took this photograph before he was he, he, before he died. Notice Word Up Magazine posted the date, March 9th, 1997. So what are the odds that they take this photograph and then just hours later he dies, right? Strange. But it, something that I've noticed is how, like, a lot of times the, the things that these celebrities are wearing are coded as well. Because maybe, maybe this is a coincidence, but you guys notice how he's wearing the Averex jacket? And that brand has the same values as murder and he ends up getting murdered in that jacket. Maybe that's coincidental, but I don't think so because the name of that company is Averex USA. And notice the 39 Gematria. And then he dies and he gets murdered on 39. 